Hello, people. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how MetaSequa actually works. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, basic controls, basic stuff you can do with it. Let's start over here. Over here, you have your basic open, save as, and insert. You can, this is later on, but you can insert a model arm. This is a preloaded model that MetaSequa comes with. Uh, just ignore that for now. Uh, doc info tells you how many objects, materials, use materials, vertices, and faces. Please realize that faces, this is very important, it's best to have under 2,000 faces if you're using a 317 client. Because um, if you if it's over, it's best to stay under 1,000, but if it's over 2,000, then if you're only, only way your whole entire character model will show up is if uh, you're just wearing that one item or equipment or whatever. So it's best to keep whenever you're modeling to keep it under a thousand faces. Triangles, rectangles, patch, colors, and direction of light. Don't really worry about that much. Um, this shows the object panel and material panel. I have the object panel set on the sides and the material panel. Here's the material panel and this is the object panel. I'll we'll worry about those in a little bit. But this is the select all, undo, unselect all, select object, select material, um, hide. It's, this hides whatever object you're working on, I do believe, or whatever you have selected. So select all, hide, and then show. So hide, wait a sec. Hide, it's not there anymore show it's there fix and unfix store restore don't worry about these right now now some of these if you just got metasequa they may not be set this way go to file and uncheck basic mode it should be no check right here okay so show all the stuff that i have here should and then this is select you simply click on a point or a line uh, rectangle, this selects things in a rectangle. Rope, you can select things in a rope form. And move, you can move the hand. Very freaky. Control Z for undo. Um, scale, rotate, you can rotate the hand. Anyway. <laughs> Then local, don't worry about that. UV, don't worry about that. Or map, don't worry about that. Primitive, you can insert uh, a model if you want to. See, now that's, that, that just created a plane. Simple little plane. All the primitive models are over here in this panel. You can move this panel around if you want. And uh, so that's created get rid of that for now. Oop. Excuse me. Okay. Create. This is very this is a very handy tool. Um, when creating models, this is this is how you would start. Create. You would go to like say if you're just creating a line, a simple little line, you go click, click. You see it connects. Then you click on another point and it connects to that point. So yeah, and then if you want to create a face, uh, I prefer to start out with face, but it can be kind of tricky. And then if you have a simple three point, creates a face. Now this front, back, and both means where where these uh, faces will be seen. The front, uh, this will only be seen in the front. That, that, that's why I have it set right now. And if you create another thing, it'd be in the back and be both. So it's like I see if if I turn it here, so you don't see the face on this side. But if you turn it this way, you see the face on that side. So yeah, it's basic right there. Uh, delete, invert, material. This is how you will color the color. Just new. Double click and ch choose whatever color you want. And then just click on the face and it'll color it that color. Simple material. 
cool bevel, magnet, twist, bend. A lot of these you'll have to experiment with. I'm just showing you really basic stuff right now. Blob paint. Background image, I use that to start out with models. You can choose a picture. Um, I don't think I have any basic pictures to start off with right now. Let me give me a second, I'll see. Okay. Now I'll click here to see the image. I want to hide this object right here. Just over here. Scroll up. Hide it for now. Excuse me. Select all. Hide. Okay. So there's the image. You can resize it. So you kind of even it out. And then you can zoom in using the scroll wheel. And then from here you can just pretty much like line both and then just trace your model. But take your time on this. You want you want your model to look as good as possible. I'm just running everything down real quick. And uh, these are the really basic stuff here. I'm not so, I don't think there's any much. Best then all, all, there's all these tools up here. Show hidden faces. Most of these speak for themselves. But selection that comes in real handy because when you're done, you want to uh, triangulate selected faces because you can the clients can only read tri uh, triangulated faces. And let's see. Then on the object, join closed vertices. These these are the points. If they're really close, they'll just join them together, so that way there's not some as many vertices and faces. Reduce and say, if, okay, now say if you have too many faces, you want to get rid of some, go to reduce polygons, and just bring down the number of points. Mesh smoothing will increase the faces, but that doesn't always work right. So, delete overlap faces. This is if faces are on top of each other, they could mess up. They could mess up your model. So just delete overlap faces. Um, delete lines, you want that also. So, yeah, I think that's about it. But, yep, a lot of this is experimenting, so you just want to experiment around with it and see what you can do. Uh, up here, this is where if you want to see the points, see the lines, faces, you want to see the faces that show patches and blobs simply. Um, only the front lines, so that way if there's so many lines you don't want to see them all, just show only the front. And then there's the image, just get rid of that if you don't want to see the image. So, yeah. Well, this is a basic rundown. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I know I did.